Hey guys, Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am scrapbooking these two photos and they probably don't look like much, but they are the inside of an airplane that we saw in Castle Air Museum and actually says bomb rack receptacle right here. I am going to be using my um, June homemade kits and this seems a little weird because my June homemade kit is a pretty kit. Like there's pretty stuff in here. Um, and I'm doing these photos. So let's see what I can do. Okay, I am just going to share with you guys right now that I truly did struggle with this layout. I wanted to have a pretty layout for my bomb receptacle photos and it definitely was a struggle. So I am using this uh, photorealistic paper of some cork and I am putting my photos on there so that I can map them. And then I have this double-sided sheet of paper. This is basic gray, best of basic gray volume two, I wanna say was what this paper pad came from. Now I am using a slimline stencil from Brutus Monroe. And I'm just trying to figure out like what, what's going where. And I decide, you know what, I just need to get some um, stencils on this layout and then we can figure it out from there. So I just use a little, little bit of purple tape while I am doing my stencil. And then I am going to use uh, this ink pad that I pulled out for the kit. Um, it is a close to my heart ink pad. Now I do enjoy close to my heart inks. I think that they have great colors and I also really like the fact that they have magnetic uh, ink pads. Like that just, just, I don't know, fills my heart in some weird way. So I am using a foam dauber and I am just getting ink and pressing it down. Now I am totally okay that this is going to be very square when I'm finished. Um, I'm just okay with it. I'm using it as a layer. I'm not using it as like an artistic, beautiful thing behind it. I'm treating it as if this was a square, or a, I'm sorry, a rectangle sheet of paper, and this pattern was on it. So that's, I'm okay with that. Um, if you don't like the rigidity around your stencils, then just don't fill in your stencil um, completely around the outside. Uh, just just don't like there are things that you can do to to combat that right so I am just going to do that now I also put some stencil up at the top of the page because I thought I was going to create um, a little cluster up there I kind of ignore it I mean I just I just kind of ignore it and I'm okay with that because you know, things happen. So there it is, uh, stencil down on my page. Uh, and then you can see I'm going to use that as kind of a shelf to get my photos down. And then this is where I'm like, oh yeah, I can put a cluster right here. So I'm going to add ink on this stencil as well. Like I said, I do try to create a cluster up here, but ultimately I think I just completely ignore this little bit of stenciling up here. If I'm remembering correctly, um, I did create this layout a while ago um, and then forgot that the video footage was there and I just didn't do it. Now I have this sheet of uh, specialty paper from Tonic Studios so I'm just going to go ahead and use my scalloped punch to go ahead and punch directly down the page so that I have this beautiful scallop shape. Um, with this kind of, I, I want to say it's almost like a matte gold. I don't remember exactly what the color is called. I'm sorry, I just had to check my microphone so if you just heard something. Um, I'm doing this thing lately where I do a voiceover and um, I forget to actually make the microphone go into record mode. Um, so I have run my mouth for hours and hours and hours and just realized that nothing recorded. Not that it's a struggle to run my mouth, but um, you know, sometimes it's 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 really defeating <laughs> when you feel like you've done a great voiceover and then 
you know, you realize you never even recorded it. And you feel like your second time that you do it, you feel like your next voiceover is never as good as your first one. Or at least I do. So now I am struggling, like I said. I struggle with this a lot. Um, there is the hello piece that I ended up using on off the board. Um, so this this layout has been been around a while and this is coming up after off the board, which is okay. So I add this doily here. I like the little black bit. I'm trying to layer up the pretty things. I really like the fact that this photo says bomb receptacle and I'm using florals and pretty things. Like I just, that just makes my little, my little mind so happy. So I'm definitely going with it. Um, and that's just, that's just the way it is. So it is, I am struggling though. Like I keep going through my stuff. I keep looking and I'm just like, what the heck am I going to do with this? And like, seriously guys, it's a struggle. Now I could have just like pitched this, put this off to the side, pulled out my um, travel themed stuff and really just went to town on it and not had not had one lick of trouble with it. But, you know, I had challenged myself to do this, so that is what I'm doing. I get yeah, the XOXO I thought was going a little bit too far um, on the funny side, um, so I did not worry about that whatsoever. I do add the little copper paper clip um, and the paper clips are only something that I'm using because it was called for in the homemade kit recipe. Honest you guys, like it's just not my my normal thing. It's not my cup of tea, paper clips on my layouts. Um, but since it was in the recipe and I had a few, I figured it was fine. Um, my title I thought was going to be something like it's beautiful here or something like that, but that didn't work out. And the beautiful um, chipboard is actually something else that went on my off the board layout. And I'm pretty sure that that floral piece is on the off the board layout too. So basically everything that I tried to make work on this layout didn't, but it worked on a completely uh, different layout. Now I thought about the doily right there and I didn't like that. I guess I didn't like the black doily either. I don't know. We're just messing around with this and truly you guys, I was on the struggle bus for a very, very long time while I was doing this. I even thought about bringing in the heart, this pink. I was like, well, maybe I just need to bring in some bolder colors. Um, but this is what I end up coming up with. This is where I finally land. I have the little black doily, um, the cork heart, and the floral kind of layered up there. And then I am figuring out what to place where. I'm like, where is this arrow going to go? Um, it ends up going here. I think I move it around a little bit too. And that stinks because, you know, I couldn't... I couldn't just get my stuff together for this layout. I mean, I really like how it turned out. I think it's pretty, and I definitely wanted to use pretty things for these two photos, but you guys, the struggle was real. Do you do you do that? What is What do you do? Do you push through? Do you say, I'm gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna get this layout done? Do you push through? Um, or do you set it to the side and then pick it back up again? Or do you tear it apart and just move on from it forever? Like, what is your process? When, when the struggle bus is real, when um, you are definitely having a problem figuring out what the heck to do with your layout, um, you, can, you can kind of picture it in your mind's eye, but it's just not coming to fruition. What do you do? Um, that's, I'm really curious about that because me, I just, I just kept playing with stuff and pushing through. Um, I even started bringing in things that weren't in my kit um, and we made it happen. And ultimately I'm happy with the layout. Like I'm, I'm good with it. Um, but it, it was definitely, it was definitely a pain in the tuchus getting there. So I'm just curious what other people do. Do you just 
keep working at it until you have something that you're happy with? Do you just trash it? Like, what do you do? Um, I don't think I've ever, tra that's a lie. That is a dirty, dirty lie. I have trashed a layout in um, the middle of the process where I have spilled something on it and or ripped it or did something like that where the structural structural damage is real on the layout but i don't think i've really like chucked anything just because i was unhappy with it okay so i am using these heidi swap letters and i'm gonna say something about the bomb goes here i can't even remember what my title is. Like I said, this this layout was created a while ago. Um, so yeah, bomb goes here. That's what we are going to end up with. Um, so I do have the little arrows. I decided to add this little tag that says fragile. I am going to pull uh, some like shiny little ribbon and I'm going to put that on the tag and I'm also going to tie it on the paper clip right there. Um, now it's time to get some things glued down. And you know what? That might be my problem right there. I'm not usually a figure outer and then glue later. I'm usually a gluer as I go type person. And maybe that is what was part of the struggle to get this layout done. It could be. It very well could be. So here is that uh, ribbon. I'm just tying it um, in a little knot on top of this paper clip. And the ribbon doesn't lay down on the paper where I really want it to. It kind of does its own thing. And I need it to do what I wanted it to do. So I just laid a little bit of ATG um, adhesive down there on the layout. And then I stuck the ribbon down to it. So it, it turned out fine. It turned out fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. See, I'm like, stay where I want you to stay, and it doesn't. So we add the adhesive, and it stays. Um, now I am just adding some more of it over here on the little fragile sticker, and I think the only journaling I put on is on that little map tag up there that's on the photo, and that's from Pretty Little Studio. I don't think I've ordered I've ordered once from Pretty Little Studio and I ordered a whole bunch of stuff and I still have things um, so maybe that's why I haven't ordered from them again hmm. the things you think about and then I'm trying to figure out like wh should I move some things around where should these things go and I'm like yes we're gonna move some things around I put this old airplane on it and um, old I mean by like a biplane this airplane is obviously not a biplane, um, but it's it's still an airplane. And I would never say an airplane is an airplane is an airplane, um, especially with the husband that I have. Um, but, you know, for scrapbooking purposes, an airplane is an airplane. Um, but not in real life, you guys. Definitely not in real life. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to add a little bit more um, to this cluster up at the top, what am I doing? Uh, am I just going to deal with it? Am I just going to have the one heart? Like what, what is my process over here and what are we doing? So I go ahead and add some foam squares so that this little paper heart can layer over top of the cork heart. And I think that that's important to remember when you are layering things and they have different thicknesses, if you don't want them to have that different thickness pronounced, then you're gonna have to figure out something to kind of camouflage it. And foam squares are super, super, super helpful for doing that. So we're gonna add the little journaling there. I think that that's all I'm doing. I'm futzing around, but I, I don't think that I add anything else. At least I, I, mean, I don't think I do. Um, that little stencil bit up at the top, like I said, I've completely ignored it now. Get that birdcage off of there. Okay. I've completely ignored it now. And um, it does look a little bit more pronounced in the video than it does in real life. So I'm just adding a little bit extra adhesive because, you know, I don't want things to fall apart. Um, I'm going to add... 
I think I just write Castle Air Museum right here in the tab. And then that is going to do it for this layout, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks for joining me as you saw my struggle um, to get this layout created. Um, sometimes, you know, I've been doing a video a day uh, since February 1st. And, you know, I do have definite um, big hits of creativity is flowing. And then sometimes it just doesn't. And this was one of those times where it just wasn't. Um, but there it is. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys again real soon for another video.